Kia ora, hara mai, kroisio, welcome. Um, so I'm going to be looking at some uh, expense classification. So typically um, on a trial balance, we might see a list of expenses like so. Um, and then we've got a formula at the top here. So uh, there's a couple of tricks that we can use to help us classify all of these different types of expenses. So, and to do that, we're going to split it like so. So of course, we identify when we classify our distribution costs, we're going to call a DC, an administration expense, an AE, and a finance cost, FC. Now, typically, when I do this, I always try and look for my finance cost first, and you're looking for one keyword, and that keyword is interest. So anything to do with interest on the left-hand side of the trial balance will be a finance cost. Now, what the examiner will tend to do, or always do, is within the trial balance, what they'll do, they'll try and be slightly sneaky, and they'll put interest next to the word insurance, just to try and trick you. But we are looking for that magic word of interest, which means that it's a finance cost here. Yeah. And that will be something else, which we'll do in a second. Of course, we can actually have interest on this side. And if we have interest on this side, it's going to be a form of other income because, of course, interest is a reward for saving or it's the cost of borrowing, which would be here. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, so I tend to look for the finance cost first. And then once I've done that, I then look for my distribution costs. Now, distribution costs, there's a little trick to this, are made up of three main different things. And the acronym for that is ADS. So we've got advertising, which is our marketing. But we'll tend to see that as written as advertising. Anything to do with delivery, but delivery out to our customers, um, or anything to do with shop. So say, for example, I had... Um, delivery van driver wages, um, or I had delivery vehicle petrol, that would be a DC because it comes under delivery and that's going out to my customer. If I had uh, shop, uh, anything to do with the shop, so for example, if I had um, shop electricity or shop rates, then that would come under a distribution cost. And then finally, everything else, is what would be classified as a general expense. So in other words, it's not directly related to the main form of income coming into the business. So if then we were to complete our classification over here, then we should be able to use this little trick to help us. So <clears throat> electricity, um, electricity is it's nothing to do with the shop. It's, it's a general expense. So we're going to classify that as an administration expense. There we go. Our rates. Has it got anything to do with advertising, delivery or shop? No, it's not specific enough. So again, that's going to be an administration expense. Our shop wages, anything to do with advertising, delivery or shop? Yes, it is. It's got directly to do with paying the people within the shop and earning us our main form of income. So therefore, this becomes the distribution cost. And like with our example over here, I've put insurance and interest rates together. So insurance and interest rates, I'll do the interest rates first. It's got the magic word interest, so therefore it's going to be the finance cost. And our insurance, it's got nothing to do with any of these because we don't know what it's for. It's too general for us, so therefore it's going to be an administration expense. Advertising. Advertising is directly a distribution cost. There we go, because that's relating to us selling our main product, whatever that might be. There we go. Vehicle petrol has got to do with 
the delivery of our product to our customer. So therefore that's also gonna be a distribution cost. And then our delivery van wages or our driver's wages, if you like. Of course, then that's got to do with delivery. So again, that's a distribution cost. And there we go. That's how we classify our expenses.